Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to another video. My name is Robertini, the source, and I am a pro music producer <laughs> who also happens to like anime and games. And we are back with another re music producer reacts series to Tower of God. Very excited to get into it. Of course, I have my guest as always. Hey, yo, this is Big Daddy No More. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And before we continue, of course, if you're on YouTube, definitely go. And um, if you're interested in learning more about the content and the music and the reactions and all of that, definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week. We got cool music production content that drops. Of course, I also have these really, really fun anime reactions. I'm having a blast doing these. So, yeah, definitely excited to keep going with all of this. So, without further ado, let's get back into Tower of God. Oh, yeah, and there's one more thing. Of course, I also have a link to the Patreon page in the description. There you get exclusive music production and anime content. So, if you're interested in learning more about all of that, definitely hit that link. And then we could definitely connect over there. Very excited about that as well. So now let's get back to Tower of God. We're on episode three. Last episode was pretty interesting. Uh, we got the teams that started forming. And then we learned that BAM is much more special than what we know right now. So let's get in to the next episode. Let's go. Episode three. Let's do it. Hey, guys, of course, sub. Uh, I know we are getting into the episode, but I just wanted to make a quick comment about the, the music. I thought the K-pop stuff was really, really cool. Um, it's a Japanese version, from my understanding, and uh, K-pop, we are a lot. K-pop's a huge genre at this point. It's worldwide. It's very cool to see now, like music from that world is getting onto these anime slash webtoons. So that's pretty pretty cool. Um, maybe later down the road, I'll do an actual breakdown of some of the music. But for now, I just wanted to pay homage to the music, of course. Me being a producer, so let's uh, now keep going with the episode. Yeah. Okay. Princess automatically. Hopefully we learn more about that. The moment we show weakness, we'll die. So what does that mean per se? Well, this is kind of a little dark moment for uh, Kun. That's his name, Kun. Kun. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Kun. Like, technically, right? Kun. Yeah. <laughs> the blue thing is the sky. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god every time i see a fighter warming up i just think of uh king <laughs> from one piece you heard what he said i did not i'm sorry yeah, gall replay that hold on oh yeah okay cool because they're in a world where everything's created by Shinsu. So, really, everything's kind of just uh, a big pretend mirage of the world? Well, I th yes, I think what you're saying is probably it. Um, because I think they're in the tower. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. So that's why mm -hmm. people are trying to get to the top of the tower. Or at least Rachel is. Yeah. That's a good question. I want I want to know that as well. Go. Oh yeah, that's right. They're doing the next uh part of the um doing the next part of the test, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, ah, it's not going too well, it looks like. Yep. That's what I want to know as well. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. What? <laughs> I don't know if you saw what I saw. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so they got five minutes, basically. Or less than that, really. His theory is proven that you could finish in five minutes. I was going to say, why would they give ten minutes? What's the extra five minutes for, then? Wow, very interesting. Um, it's weird when you... I don't know if you guys are can listen, but you can hear the piano in the back. 
and it's very very subtle it's like they'll hit a chord and it'll wait for a little bit and then you hear another chord it's not actually consistent and then it just kind of goes away all right so they're going to try to pick a door what kind of criteria are they going to go off of with this I'm going to see if there's going to be some cool symbolism that goes along with this. That will be pretty cool, actually. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let's try and figure it out. Yeah. Organize the information that you have. There are 12 doors. The time limit's 10 minutes. Exceed that, and you'll be forcefully terminated. Okay. What is... <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. You do have 10 minutes. You can really take your time, even though 10 minutes is pretty fast. Every team that hasn't screamed so far. Interesting. So maybe the... the, the maybe the, the, the test is that you don't really need to open any doors. And once again, what makes the scene a little bit more special, quote-unquote, is the fact that you hear that piano in the background. That's why music is so important. you got to pick the right kind of sounds and the right instrumentation for each kind of scene that you're looking for or else it'll completely ruin the mood or that the show's trying to portray and you see that listen to that now now we get this moment of intenseness coming through and the music is also kind of showing that and boom it just stops really interesting yeah, why did he open that door? Instinct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ah, so overthinking. Let's go. <laughs> so the idea is like, <laughs> hold on, I'm going to pause this real quick because uh, I want to, mention that I think that this part right here um it's almost like it's like about being indecisive right so it's like mm. <laughs> you know you got to make a decision and then just go for it I think yeah. that's what that kind of represented it's like when you present it with so many options like it ends up clouding your thinking and your judgment and therefore this is a situation where Kuhn was his mind was clouded with all of his thinking going on when all you have to do is just open a door. Open a door. Yeah, that just makes the most all sense the to me. All the clues were given. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know how you guys feel about this, but uh, put your thoughts in the comments. All right, y'all, let's continue. Now that you're wounded, you trust nothing. It's interesting how they just kind of pick on Kuhn and just kind of. I can't wait till we really learn more about his past. Yeah, they were talking about him and his sister, I guess, loving each other. Interesting. A little bit too much. Yeah, that's really interesting. We haven't seen that in any anime that I've yeah, seen. Nah. That's a new topic. <laughs> Even if they have that I've seen. Systems. I want to repeat that I've seen because I haven't seen as many as other anime fans out there. I've never seen incest in anime, so I'll be <laughs> first. <laughs> wow, let's see who's gonna pass. Nice. That's 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 cool. What an interesting concept. It's funny because uh, Rax, um, I guess Rax antiness actually was uh, antiness is not a word, but y'all get the point. His personality is actually the reason why that they uh, passed. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Screw this! I'm just opening a door." Also, these are. Okay, so that means the first test, there's different rounds. Is that what that means, pretty much? Also, there's multiple princesses of Jihad over there. Interesting. You know how um, yeah, Bam was in that one test, and basically they had to kill people. Basically, yeah. a good amount survived. Yeah. Well, with this one group, only three people survived. Wow, okay. It really isn't. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> It is no ordinary test, I'm sure. Interesting. Wow. You already know they're about to to hop on this. Whoa. Very interesting concept here. A lot going on here. Wow. 
this is a, this is gonna be a fun game to kind of watch and see how this unfolds. It's like capture the flag, but not really. So they're not participating in the first round, which is good for them. Let's see how this goes. Who's gonna sit on the chair though? I wanna. Oh wow. They're fighting each other, but who's sitting in the chair? That didn't take Somebody long. has to get the crown. Oh, someone has to get the crown. Yeah, yeah. so it is like cap first. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. So right yeah. now they're just fighting each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Sorry, y'all. I forgot about that one part. It's it's just like capture the flag almost. Very similar. Oh, her, her name is Anak. Not Hot. Sorry about that once again. All right, so now they got to try to grab it from her. Yeah. That's This is going to be interesting now. The She's idea was you want to put your weakest player, I mean, teammate on that chair. Yeah. Because they can't leave the throne. Yeah. Are they going to press the buzzer? Oh, he saw. Oh. 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 Darn. Damn. I love the ending theme song, too, by the way, y'all. But we're going to save that for another day. Um... So yeah, that was episode three of Tower of God. And um, my takeaway from this is the fact that we definitely got some couple of other strong characters in the series. That's pretty cool. And um, cool. what I really liked was the fact that this episode wasn't as much about Bam as it was more about Kun. And just kind of about how everyone is going to have an opportunity to finally get a chance to climb the tower. So that was pretty cool. I love it when they start showing other character stories because that's how depth gets created in a lot of these shows, you know. Um, so I'm very excited to learn more about him and his past. And uh, from our understanding, he had this weird relationship with his sister. So hmm. hopefully they, they kind of explain how that all came to be. So, um, so with that being said, is there really anything else that really pointed out? I would also say this is um once again I, I just wanted to point out that the animation is actually pretty cool yeah. i like it the stylization of the characters they all look uniquely different um this is a really cool so far i'm really enjoying this so far i'm liking it yeah. so yeah so um, is this considered a webtoon or is it still anime i'm not too sure well from my understanding this is a webtoon that's this is it's like the c correct me if i'm wrong of course but um Basically, Webtoon is the Korean version of manga. So, mm -hmm. basically, this is obviously Japanese. So, obviously, they made an anime version of a Webtoon. So, I would say this technically still is anime. This is Jap... You sure? 100% sure it's Japanese, not Korean? I think it is Japanese, yeah. Okay. And the reason why I think it's Japanese is because even the theme song was in Japanese. Mm -hmm. um, and I say that because there was... Uh, in the credits, it said uh, Japanese version. Mm -hmm. So, that's why. Um, also, I could tell it's Japanese just because um, you could look. Well, I'm actually going to teach Big Daddy no more. A quick lesson, y'all. Uh, I'm not a Korean expert, but I do know what the Korean language is like written down. And this does not. That's not Korean. Look like it. Gotcha. No, that's definitely Japanese. So, um, yeah. So that's pretty much it, y'all. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed these reactions. I love watching anime. And we're just having fun. That's what this is all about at the end of the day. Of course. You know, I have the music production content as well. So that's going to be fun to put out. And we're building an amazing community as well on the Patreon. So if you're definitely interested and want to go support me, I would appreciate it, of course. But don't ever feel pressure to do that because that's not what this is about. Um, of course, if you're on YouTube, definitely go and hit the subscribe button if you like the video. And hit the notification bell so you know when we drop videos every week or when I drop videos. Mm-hmm every week so with that being said guys i'm out of here and as always don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be and until the next video my name is robertini de source and i am out